One of the nice things about having a farm is that people sometimes gift you things, a um, variety of things, um, everything from spare roosters to spare parts to spare carports, which is what we're working with today. This is just kind of a Costco style carport that we were given and what we're going to do is turn it into a growing on house for our seedlings that we're going to be planting out this spring just to kind of cover to keep the elements off of them before they're ready to go in the field. So come along, we'll show you what we're going to do. All right, so we got our structure all put together. It didn't come with instructions since it was a hand-me-down, but we puzzled it together and got it correct, we think. So now comes the part where we need to be able to attach our plastic to the frame. So we have these one by fours that we're going to attach to the metal that goes around the whole structure and we're, that we're gonna use that to pull our plastic tight to and attach it. Okay, so in order to get these one bys attached to the metal, what we're gonna do is pre-drill a hole through the wood and the metal and then I'm gonna screw it on after that. And we're using one and a half inch tapping screws to attach that. Just like that. All right, so we've got the first one by four up. So we're gonna put one of these on each of the sections all the way around the structure. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like when we get it all done before we attach the plastic. We've gotten all of the one bys attached to the frame along the rail, so all the way around the structure as well as on each of the ends, so the legs on each of the ends, and then up above on the cross braces, going up and over. Next, we're gonna work on framing in the two end walls so that we can get ready to pull the plastic. The sun came out between rainstorms today, so we wanted to get back out and get a little bit more done on this structure. We are starting the end walls, so we've got the two by four header up. We attached it to the, two, the one by fours on either side of the frame with some long screws, and now we're gonna dig some holes in the gravel down below we're going to set some pressure treat two by fours. Uh, we're going to dig some holes so that we can pour concrete and frame in this end wall. So the holes are dug. We measured the distance from the header down to the ground inside the hole. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut the two by four that we're going to use for the door frames. So it's a pressure treat. Just going to make one single cut. <laughs> All right, we've got the two by fours cut for the door frame, and we just have them set in here to judge the length and make sure we've got the right length going. Next, we're gonna make sure that they are level from side to side and front to back. And then we're gonna screw them in from the top and pour the concrete into the holes to set them. Now that we've finished dropping the door frames for both walls, we went ahead and used the 2x4 same pressure treat to make cross braces between the outside wall and the door. We're going to use that to kind of shore up the, the door frame a little bit, but also to attach the plastic on the outside. Next, we're going to mix up the concrete. So we just got some quick mixed concrete. We're going to mix it up in this wheelbarrow and then pour it into the holes where the door is going to be anchored. So we've poured concrete into the holes at each of the doorways. So that's all done and we're gonna let it set up and then we're gonna wait for a break in the weather to pull the plastic next. So we got a little bit of break in the weather. The concrete is set. We're gonna try to pull the plastic onto the house this afternoon. What we have is, it's a 100 foot roll so we'll have to cut it down obviously, but it's 20 foot, 28 feet wide. It's a six mil polyfilm greenhouse plastic. We're gonna roll it out, cut it down to size and then show you how we're going to get it up and over the house. All right, so we've got it all laid out and we're just cutting it to um, a 28 foot length, which is enough to cover the frame plus a little bit of extra on either end.
So we got the plastic wrestled over the frame with two of us, which is not the easiest task, but it can be done. Now we're going to go ahead and set the end walls. So I've already anchored the other end with a piece of lath across the top just to hold the plastic in place. And I'm gonna pull it, I've pulled it tight against this end. So I'm gonna set the piece of lath up here against the one by four that we've already set. I'm gonna use 18 gauge finish staples and I'm just gonna tack it on there. Just like that and then I'm gonna do the other side and we'll work on pulling it tight. Now with the end anchored, we're gonna go ahead and pull the sides tight. We're gonna do one full side and then we'll switch to the other full side and then we'll finish by anchoring down the other end. So what we're gonna do is come and pull the plastic tight down as well as kind of pull it back tight towards the end that is just anchored. And we're gonna set the lath on that one by four as we go. Alright, so we got the other side anchored off that way and then we're gonna we're pulling this one now. Aaron's at the other end pulling tight and I'm pulling down with my knee as I anchor these lath into the one by fours. So the last kind of pulling plastic part of this process for right now is that we're pulling this last piece around the door and just fastening it up by pulling it tight on the wall. And pinning it down. So next up we're going to do the end walls. So that's one end wall complete. This is what will function as the back of the greenhouse. So we're not gonna cut any of the door frame out. We're just gonna leave it as is, as a solid wall for the time being. Not as important for access. So this is what it, this is what it looks like. Well, daylight is not cooperating with us and we're running out of it, but we did get this final wall done. So this is what will serve as the entrance to the greenhouse. All we have left to do tomorrow is to trim up the last couple things, the plastic, get it kind of tidied up and I'll let you know what that looks like in the daylight. All right, so we're just getting to the end of the project and we're gonna trim off the excess plastic all the way around and that'll be that. And there you have it. So we are finished the structure. We laid some weed mat down on the inside. We built up some milk crate boxes with some pallets on top of them to hold our plants. The whole project ended up costing us just about $250 because of course the structure was gifted to us. It should hold about 6,000 soil blocks when it's all said and done. Right now we're about half full, but don't worry, it will fill up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for swinging by the farm. See you next time. <laughs>